Tonight, my mind is calm, sharp, fresh, focused, and I'm ready to compete. It's another night of me doing what I love, performing, putting on a show for the fans, and getting a KO victory. I wanted to fight Connor a long time ago, as soon as he started punking out everybody at the press conference, you know? Lightweights all the way up, and I was like, you guys all had a responsibility right there to step up and say something. The circumstances would have been different had I been there. So I'll tell everyone up here, 145 right through to 170, I'm the money fight at all weight division, so f everybody else up here. I feel there are a lot of crybabies in the game at the moment. It should be me next. No, it should be me next. I'd like to see some true men who are willing to step in and fight each other because martial arts is about taking risks, challenging yourself. Size is never an issue in the game of warfare. I don't call people up in the lower weight class. They're smaller than me, you know, but right then when he talked all that going up weight stuff, I was like, okay. I was like, there's my call right there. I'm fighting you then. So, uh, after my last fight, I said I wanted this fight. Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for. You know what's the real fight, what's the real money fight is me, not these clowns that you already punked at the press conference. The UFC, they're pushing him and they're hiding me in the corner. I think I, I've worked hard for this company. It's time for me to get mine, you know? And he's getting his, and that's what angered me. Who do people want to see? They want to see him fight, they want to see me fight. And um, here we are. They need to truly choose their words carefully when they speak my name because I have the power to literally make them or break them. Really, it's already done at the last press conference. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to say nothing to him because I am going to rip his head off. So the cold headliner tonight, Holly Holm. She is the Bantamweight champion. Her opponent, Misha Tate, winner of four straight since her title fight against Ronda Rousey. Very interesting. We have Holly and Misha. We're going to learn a lot about where the Bantamweight division stands after tonight's fight. Holly Holm ready to defend for the first time against one of the toughest outs in women's MMA, Misha Tate. Here we go. I am a better than Nate Diaz because I am a better athlete. I am a harder worker. I am a world champion for a reason. Good is not enough when you are facing the pound for pound number one. I think that he's in uh, over his head, you know. Now he's coming up in weight and he's dealing with a guy who's been here for 13 years now. I think that he's finding a real fighter now. Midway point of this championship fight. Big shots by Misha Tate. There's a nice head kick there by Holly. Oh, they're exchanging here. Nice side kick to the body by Holm. Oh, nice combination by Holly. Misha caught the kick. There's the shot. Misha's getting very aggressive in her takedown attempts here, Mike. My goal is to put on a masterpiece to dazzle my opponent and to set up a highlight reel KO. I will spin, my heel will dig into his temple and sleep him. I believe that all his predictions are stuff that people that he's fighting believe, and I see through that and uh, I'm not playing around, so it's a real fight. There will certainly be a lot of damage done in that first round. Towards the end of the first, I feel he'll be unconscious. He better finish me in the first round, because if not, then what? <laughs>
Like I said, it's kill or be killed, so I'm going to here tonight to do it. Nate's gonna f this dude up. Very interesting fight. These women bring it. Oh, Nisha Carter with the push kick there. Oh, big left. And she gets the takedown. Very nicely done by Misha. This is bad. Misha looking to choke her out. Can she get it? She's out. And it's all over. Misha chopped her out. Misha T. It's a new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. Oh, my God. She put her to sleep. That is what champions are made of. Yeah, we still have the main event. Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz. I'm as hardcore as they get in this game, and uh, I try to be the best martial artist in the world. This is a ruthless game, and I am the most ruthless. I think Nate is a confused, scared little boy at this time. This is the fight game, man. If you're scared, you shouldn't have signed up. Let's just go in there and fight, and uh, take him out before he takes me out. like the Hall of Famer, Chuck the Iceman Liddell, the true UFC legends, have shared a distinct and destructive mindset. And they will enter the octagon on a moment's notice. Nate Diaz, Conor McGregor, never back away from a fight. We are now set for our main event of the evening. stances big left oh spin and a miss Connor just has a very unusual style of movement a clinch hey yo keep here here early. Oh, tagged him with that left. Big shot there. Connor is so precise with his punches. So casual with the way he moves sometimes. Hands down, walking him down. He's got to get in, he's gotta get in the groove. Yeah! Pop, 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 pop. And a good little check hook by Nate. The head movement. Connor's movement. Is so brilliant. Oh, he tagged him. That was a good shot. He got caught. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt, Mike. Keep your distance. Keep going. He tagged him. Hard left hand. Yes. Cut him. It's a bad cut, too. Hands up. Hands up, Nate. Look for the clinch, too, Nate. Hands up. Good right hands there by Nate Diaz. That leg kick is there. There's a hard leg kick by Connor. One thing that Nate has to be considering is the weight on his front leg. He likes to stay heavy on that front leg, and if Connor keeps kicking it, it could be an issue. Fire back, got the kick. Good head movement by McGregor. Nate Diaz kind of rubbing that eye over and over again. He's gonna give it to him now. Couple good jabs there by Nate. Nice, that's it, Nate. Another good left hand by Connor. Look at that shot. There's a kick. Looking for the takedown. Got he gets him down. Take it, take it, take it. Nate 
trying to become the aggressor here. He'll pull guard, Joe. His submission game is very, very highly respected. Connor! Stand up, Connor! Connor trying to throw down some ground and pound. Or just get out of harm's way. Move, move, move. Keep moving. Yes. yes. Round one in the books. Anticipated rematch nears. The fans have given them this indestructible feeling. You gotta go out there and be the guy to get all the attention. Take a look behind the scenes and see where the bad blood began. UFC 202 on Fox Sports. I know, he knows. I was dominating the fight. They were putting him out like he was unstoppable. Connor got an ass beat. <laughs> so he can say what he wants. And I'm gonna get that win back. Live tomorrow at 10 a.m. on Fox Sports and Fox Sports Play. Inside all of us beats the heart of a fighter. A desire to transcend limits, break barriers, and make the impossible possible. We are committed. We are relentless. We are undeniable. We are UFC. I search for clues in the records of the past. Darkness. Black sun in the middle of the floor. It's a drug to ensure that the German soldiers could last out for a longer period. The freedom will be taken, not given. What is he trying to hide? Nazi World War Weird. Thursday nights at 9 on the National Geographic Channel. Hi, I'm Jens Lehmann. Join me on Fox Sports for the start of the new season of the Bundesliga. Oh, it's brilliant! Would you believe that? The Bundesliga on Fox Sports. 15 straight wins for Conor McGregor. It's Diaz. On a, on a win, he needs to switch gear. Round two! Creative striking. Once again by McGregor. Connor advancing pretty much the whole fight. Connor does a nice job covering distance quickly, Joe. Darts in and out very well. Catch those kicks. He said he didn't come here to take part. He said he came here to take over. We didn't know it was going to be a multiple weight classes. Good left by Connor. That's where that left goes. John Cavanaugh was telling him to show him the left hand. Good left hand by Connor. Nate training for the triathlon, Joe mentioned. Connor pouring it on here. There's that uppercut. He needs to clinch corner because as that fight goes right now, it doesn't go uh, his way at all. Clinch by Nate. He seems to be that Nate is getting tired now. Good defense by Connor. That's it. A lot of blood coming out of that right eye. 90 seconds into round two. Connor is in superior physical condition. Connor's busting Nate up. Which in the Diaz world means absolutely nothing. But he will fight until he can't fight any longer. Excellent exchanges here. Spectacular stylistic matchup. Good one-two by Nate. The Stockton slap coming soon. Strong jab by Nate. Ooh. 
clinch. Nice uppercut there by Connor. Joe, this is what the world was hoping for. Two of the greatest stand in the octagon and trade. Submission due to a rear naked choke. Nate Diaz! Nate Diaz, you just shook up the world. How's that feel? Hey, I'm not surprised. Going into the round, this final round, you caught him with one shot and you saw him buckle. What did you think then? I just knew, like I said, I knew I was going to start off slow, and as soon as I got warm up and fell, it was going to start turning around, it was going to, and it happened a little earlier than I expected. Nate, this was a spectacular victory, even more spectacular given the fact you didn't have a training camp for this. Congratulations, sir. Enjoy it. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an athlete, a warrior. We should already be, always be ready to fight everybody on our worst day. They're the new king of this now, and it's right here, all right? The black belt in Gracie Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu on 11 days notice has defeated the notorious Conor McGregor. Conor, give us your thoughts on what went down here tonight. Uh, I took the chance going, going at 170, but I'm humble in victory or defeat. Um, I respect Nate, he came in. Yeah, he took the fight on short and I always came in at 170 and, and done the job. He, he was efficient. Uh, these things happen, I learn, I grow. I took a chance, came up weight. It didn't work out. Um, it is what it is. I'll, I'll face it like a man, like a champion, and come back and do it again. I'm sure you will, sir, and I look forward to seeing you compete again. Conor McGregor, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, how things have changed. Conor McGregor defeated for the first time in his UFC career. Nate Diaz scores the biggest victory as a professional. Stage with the man of the hour, Nate Diaz. Nate, were you surprised the way he came out? No, he came out like I like I expected. And people, when, like on the rails, though, people try to take take me out for real and really try to fight me like he does. He tries to really fight people like I do. Uh, I've been dealing with that for my whole whole career. Like 
killer would be killed uh, fight style. And uh, I land a lot of punches on people, and then they always shoot on me, and that's why I got a lot of submission finishes. But the reason why is because they shoot, because they don't want no more oh, no more punches landing on their head. So so the submission comes from the punches. Otherwise, it's going to be a knockout. So it was on the way to, to a knockout, and then uh, the submission uh, came as we went. Warriors. Warriors. We knew that he was going to come out fast. But then after the first round, I said, Nathan, you got to pick it up. You got to start throwing those punches. You know, throw some kicks, throw some punches, you'll catch him. Boom. He's, he, 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 he already had the plan. So he's out there, did it, and, and caught him, and got him on the ground, choked him out. Question for Connor. You go in there, obviously, up two weight classes. I know it's a tough night. What are you feeling right now? Um, you know, it's a, it's a bitter, bitter pill to swallow. Um, Oh, I respect Nate, he fought very well with his energy. Um, I felt, I felt I was winning, I won round one. He stayed in it, um, he was very efficient with his energy. Connor likes to talk a lot about the power that he has in that left hand. How would you compare it to some, some of the power that you faced? He punches hard, he's, 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 he's a hard, hard hitting little guy, but nothing I never felt before. So, uh, and I expected, I expected if I get hit, by anybody is probably going to be hard, you know, but uh, if you ain't taking me out, you're going to get taken out straight up. Any regrets at all that maybe it would have been easier just to stay at 145? Absolute, absolutely none. Um, I, I enjoyed the whole experience. I was actually relishing the, the, the opportunity to step in there against Nate. We stayed in there, we talked, we were verbal. Uh, I, ha I had fun in there. It was, it was an enjoyable fight. This is a dog fight, man. He hurt him with that left. Spin and a miss. Diaz. The couple of big punches. He's hurt. He's hurt, Mike. Connor comes back. Man, they're firing away. Oh, man, this is madness. This is madness. And again with the combination. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him. He tagged him. He hurt him. Whoa. Connor's in serious trouble. And he senses it. Oh, my God. Oh, got him with a good one there. They turned him. He's hurting him. He hurt with that left. And as far as energy and stuff, I felt like I was a superior boxer. I felt like I, I won. I, I was better on the stand up, and then that's why he went for the takedown. And Connor looks for the takedown. Diaz trying to finish with a submission. Connor's in serious trouble. That's it. He's got the choke. He tapped. He tapped. He tapped. This is the game. We win some, we lose some. I will never shy away from a challenge i will never shy away from and um, defeat but i feel with some adjustments i will climb back up so maybe me and nate can do it again <laughs>